And once we find our nationality and serve that nationality, we'll do for ourselves what needs to be done. Thinking it's games, you already know these beasts kill you on camera. Leave you niggas dead in the streets. You're still handcuffed and bloody, but no 911 calls. Bystander effect in full effect. So watch it with y'all. Mind blowing. Watching my people holding up traffic of innocent people. My people need to get their ass kicked. Marching and picking in his most cowardice and funkified. While dead bodies just multiply. Sisters killed in their cell. You claim it's hell you're raising. Burn down your own community, not one police station. You love pork chops. But I see no police baking And when it comes to revolution, most of y'all are faking All ethnic groups in this country Understand They got a nationality because you answer just such stupid words. Like black lives don't matter, but you still claim black. Rather film someone get choked out, but won't choke back. And the one that uploads first face charges Trump up. What you think will happen when President Trump's up? More killing and murders of stateless herds. Hoods are concentration camps now, ghettos are birds. Gun stores shot on ammo, they're melting down church bells. Black seek shelter in temples where God doesn't dwell. That's why a foreigner can walk in and shoot up your service. Praying to invisible gods. Give you the curses, you pray to relinquish, that's none of my business, I suggest you nationalize with the quickness, I suggest you study law, stop with the bitch shit, in your face I see them spray the pepperish liquid, then pouring white milk on your face, I thought that milk was the devil, some weapons drown the noise level, poise you rebel. Because you answer just such stupid words like Negro and color and black, you have The point no that I'm making, blacks are mistaken. Call them highwaymen, not cracker pigs or bacon Taking your tax dollars and riot gear, they relaxing Cause in a black status, don't even think about a class action Don't even think about rights being respected Without getting injected, I see you infected Then the same ones that violate the laws you re-elected Your vote matters more than black lives, feel disrespected Control the Negroes, looks tested and perfected That's why about being black, I'm skeptic and left it My people are tripping, walking with arms like panthers Who got nowhere in the 60s, so that's not the answer And black need a race war, instigator puppets Teach kill those who killed us as justice But have they ever killed? I think not If they did, it's TSA, nobody to show Yellow envelope, money in escrow Accounts overseas, not in democracies Live in hypocrisies It's all the zero mockeries, bureaucracies Vampiric, but most can't hear it It's only the attitude, the regalia is not clan spirit until my people wake up, your struggle for rights continue And your children organs end up on the elite menu You love text but delete the messages, more send you with no status You're in the jurisdiction and venue of the same beast system you attempt to defeat Only as Moors will you get them on the heels of their feet Of the same beast system you attempt to defeat Only as Moors will you get them on the heels of your feet The name of a people must relate So obviously it's it's unity time. Because even the dirty moors are coming out now and saying that we realize what's up. We realize what's up. We're putting the code out there. Right? And we're putting it out there so people can realize that it's time to not be Negro black colored and be Moors. Even if you go to the dirty moors, guys, at least you're Moors. Even if you Go to the seller guy. At least 
in your mind you're gonna start thinking, oh yeah, okay, I'm a more now. Even if you paid five thousand. So if you have to pay five thousand, hey, go go right. If you pay five thousand to be a more. At least you'll be a more. So we could get this thing going. Because everybody's waiting. Talking to a more yesterday. Everybody's chilling. Just waiting for the mores. And you know, they're getting you know what I mean? When guys gonna just say to jump in the truck and just drive through people and stuff like that, people are, you know, we took, been telling people there's gonna be collateral damage, watch where you go and stuff like that. Because it's, it, what does blood up to a horse's brow mean? It means anybody could get it. You know, and, and you know, for Moors who are superhero Moors, nationality car is not going to stop a truck coming at you. Sorry. So, be wise. And recognize that you are a nation. And as a nation, certain things, they don't partake in. You go certain places, how come certain people aren't there? How come you, how come every time you go to the Chinese store, you see Chinese and then all these other people. Then when you go to other people's store, you don't see no Chinese there. Nationhood, nationality, support your own, be around your own. No jolly told Moors, live close together. What's the biggest problem with Moors? I'm the only Moor. <laughs> I'm the only Moor that's out here. Well, we, we were just born into it, Moor. We were just born into it. We never created this. So everybody's coming out and trying to get these people to be Moors. Everybody's coming out. So for the Moors, coming into whatever like that and they heard about stuff and they're scared of more science temple or whatever like that that's pseudo name that's not that's not nothing how come they never say more divine and national movement ever they never ever bring that up in their propaganda or whatever that's all about Moorish nation and Moorish whatever more science temple and all these different sects and branches and but certain things you know they don't touch because they because they know what's up because they know what's up right I'm going to show you how much they know what's up because we're going to start with questions today because we have to get through this one we have to get through this one today because this one's hot off the press Hot off the press. So, more called me yesterday. The Kudra, I don't know what to do. It's good. So, we go to today. So, he goes to work and chilling at work. You know what I mean? And he gets a visit at work. Gets a visit. At his job. Islam Mars, just putting this on the record for my protection. Yesterday I informed Brother Kudro about an agent who visited the store looking for a quote unquote Gary Anderson, all caps. I was told this by an associate who works at the private sector I also work at. She informed me that this person or agent had a folder displaying different photos of individuals. However, to, however, to further gather more information about what was going on, it was cut short an individual continued talking to an assistant manager who stated that the alleged agent that I go by my appellation, Trey L, conversation was continued, the alleged agent discontinued the conversation, proceeded toward the exit, and the agent began to walk with the associate who called me, see you later. Agent replied, see you later. Oh wait, never see you again. 
This above information was given yesterday and today, 18th day of July, 1436, 18th day of July, 2016, 19th day of July, 1436, 19th day of July, 2016. I'm making this known to the Canaan Temple as an honorary member, Kosi Tre El Marsh, American National in full life. I will CC this to the other brothers and sisters. Peace from Islam. All right. So, today now, so today, I went to work, and when I got there, I see a bundle of policy enforcers in the middle of the parking lot. I laughed a bit but wasn't concerned because they began to leave the area. So it's about 10.45 a.m. I alert Brother Kujo that a few individuals show up at the store. I glanced at one of them, just remained calm and continued my work. Maybe about 15 minutes later, they both showed up. Oh, that was me. About 15 la minutes later, they both showed up in the area I work at of the store. The one in the red shirt proceeds to go upstairs. The other in the black shirt began to walk by saying, Hello, Trey. Can I call you Trey or Trey L? <laughs> I replied, My name is Kosi Trey L. Can I help you with something? So the one in the black suggests we talk in private. I told him, No, I'm good talking where I stand. So the manager stayed. And then the agents and I began to converse. Before I allowed them to talk, I told them for my safety and theirs that I'm going to record the conversation. Mr. Black states, not without my consent. I said, what? I have a right to record you because you haven't identified yourself properly. Mr. Black tells me I'll arrest you if you record me. I said, wow, so you're going to violate my rights and kidnap me. He straightened up and said, no, it's just that I haven't consented. <laughs> because of the Florida laws. <laughs> I told him, well, based off the Constitution, I have the right, and since you approaching me with threat, arrest, and coercion, I'm letting you know I'm Kosi Trey L. Marsh, American National, in persona, that I do not waive my rights or abandon them. So I asked, what are they here for? And Mr. Red states, oh, we're here because we got an anonymous phone call about you not paying taxes and that you're a sovereign citizen. I said, whoa, I never claimed to be that because you said that. I stated again, I'm Moorish American National and I'm not affiliated with those people. Plus those two words don't even go together because it's an oxymoron. So I stated to them, you haven't properly identified it who both of you are. So they pull out a badge and inside I see something but I really couldn't make it out. <laughs> yeah, they're very deep in their thinking. I mean, white supremacy dominates all areas of activity. And this is why black folks get so caught up because we get into the ego game and we want to call this shit something else so it, that makes us feel better. We want to say something else that make us feel better. We into the feeling thing. And that's why the white supremacists win and we lose. See, the white supremacists, they know when they've taken an L. They don't get into the ego thing.
Because white people, they don't have a history of lying to themselves. They'll lie to you. But the white supremacist, he knows he's lying to you. They're not going to lie to themselves. Through my diligent studies of the world religions and secret societies, there is no better teaching for the Asiatics in America than the divine wisdom of the honorable prophet, noble Drew Ali. Man, I'm sovereign. They ain't even supposed to arrest me. Man, I'm a Moorish citizen of Morocco, dude. <laughs> I'm a more citizen of Morocco and I'm legally blind. gonna arrest me and I'm legally blind. I'm a female, huh? You start talking that Donna Good old shit. Man, my status is corrected. See, understand, as a Moorish Washita Indian, they weren't even supposed to arrest me because they don't have jurisdiction. The white supremacists on Twitter, dude. <laughs> the only people Basically, white you see on Twitter are basically white supremacists who just make a number of accounts talking shit. So the thing is, we got more of us coming. The new app is coming and a lot of people are hyped about it. The word of mouth is strong and you better believe that that shit gets back to the people at Facebook. Are you looking for a social networking app where you can connect with other black people for dialogue, business, dating, educating, and other constructive endeavors? Do you want to discuss issues of empowerment without getting banned or censored like those other social networking sites do? Introducing a new social networking app where you can link up with melanoid people globally for the ultimate purpose of empowerment. If you're looking for a social networking app that's for us, then check out More Us. Free yourself. Be yourself. MoreUs.com. Over this land, my brother, you have to understand because what this is, America is a corporation, brother. It's originally called Turtle Island. Understand me? And our brother Noble Drew Ali taught us this. So they were out of their jurisdiction because I am one of the kings and sovereigns of Turtle Island, which was illegally called the United States of America that they've took from the indigenous people, which is from my sovereign tribe. So it's illegal for them to even have me in here, brother. So they're out of order. So niggas are talking that dumb shit. Why are you in jail for 10 years? And the white supremacists are like, oh, okay. By the um, early 1900s, uh, the Islam was, was basically gone with a few isolated exceptions, the, the pure Islam. 
However, there were Islamic residuals that remained in the African American community. And two different groups, and probably more than two, but two come to mind, the Moorish Science Temple and the, and the Nation of Islam, built upon those Islamic residuals, but introduced into those Islamic residuals uh, a racial mythology uh, that was designed to uh, increase the morale of African Americans who were being treated as a second-class citizen in America. I want you to know that we are descendants from the ancient Mobites who inhabit the northwest and southwestern shores. You know what I'm saying? Our ancient forefathers are the ones who inhabit the land called Mauritania, which would today we call the northwest and southwestern shores of Africa. So what you need to do is you need to study your history. You need to study Denmark Vincent, Gabriel Passa, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, Noble Drew Ali, and find out what these brothers was really about. Get into their minds, their mindset. Learn how to have a better perception of who you are and what your forefathers were. Once you are able to ascertain that knowledge, then you will be able to understand the diabolical nature of the people who have you in the predicament that you are presently in. So I'm just telling you from an intellectual perspective, you know what I'm saying, and an educational perspective, that you must at all times adhere to your ancient forefathers, adhere to your nationality. We are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, Ethiopian. What we are, we are the descendants of the ancient Mobites. So therefore, they make us more Americans. The Honorable Nova Drew Ali, who came in 1913 AD from the state of North Carolina, he was born in 1886, he taught us that if I get my people to think, they would teach themselves. So you need to learn how to think. You know what I'm saying? Without a foe, a soldier never know his strength. Okay. We start talking dumb shit, ego shit, instead of saying, hey, like the white kid over here, is, while we talking about, yeah, I'm a indigenous watcher star. The white guy's over here. Okay, bro, just keep talking, dude. Keep fucking talking, Chief El Shabazz Malik. <laughs> keep on talking. Talk louder, bro. I'm the fuck out of here soon, dude. He got a screwdriver he done made. And he's getting his ass up out of there while you up here talking about you a damn Israelite. Then you ain't supposed to be in there. See, we get into the ego shit talking about what we ain't. See, we get into the ego shit talking about what we ain't. See, we get into the ego shit talking about what we ain't. Like, damn, okay, he's in response to it. My brother on the phone yesterday from prison said, you know, tell the God I said hello. Mm. He said he'll know what I'm talking about because he's, you know, in not Nation of Islam, but he's um, in not five percenter, but he's Dyson Bay. A wise man once said, he said, if you want to hide the wisdom of man, he said, where would you hide it? It was three wise men. One said, well, we can hide it in the ocean. He said, no, man would one day get a submarine and he would go to the bottom of the ocean. One said, we can hide it in the sky. He said, one day man would have rockets and spaceships and he would eventually find it there. But he said, the wisest of all said, hide it within himself. They never seek to find wisdom within themselves. And that's where you need to find the wisdom within yourself, young man.